sensitivity analysis then is all to do with what happens if my guesses aren't right? How sensitive am I to the guesses not being right when we do an MPV? So let me explain. If you've got an MPV of 100, that's a guess. You know, you're looking at a future potential product and you've worked out lots of guesses and you think, ah, it's going to make me $100. Fantastic, I'll go for it. But included in those guesses is estimated costs, let's say, of 1,000. Now, they may not be 1,000, okay? So I'm sensitive to them changing. What if they did change? What if the actual costs were 1,100? What would my MPV then be with an extra 100 costs? My MPV would go down to zero, wouldn't it? So therefore, I want to say, right, hmm, how sensitive am I to the costs as a whole? Well, if the costs change by 10%, i.e. an extra 100, my decision on the project changes because I wouldn't take it if it was an MPV of zero. And that change of 10% is what we mean when we're talking about sensitivity. How sensitive is the item to making me change my mind? So let's work out how we do it. So to work out sensitivity, you take your MPV and you divide it by the item, okay? We're gonna see that change to something a little bit more technical in a minute, but just to get your, your head around it. So if the MPV was 100 and your costs were 1,000, I'm worried about costs changing by more than 10%, because if they do, my MPV will be zero. So my sensitivity is 10%. I'm worried that if it's more than 10% that changes, MPV would equal zero, and so I wouldn't go for it. What about in this case then, what's the sensitivity? Well, my MPV is 200, and my estimated costs are 600. So you just put that into the formula, 200 over 600, if my costs change by 33.3%, which is quite a big change, isn't it? And I have to get my guess wrong by 33.3%, then I'd change my mind, okay? So it has to change by 33.3% until I change my mind. So the change required in an item to make MPV equals zero, that's what sensitivity looks at. And therefore, the smaller that change to an item that's needed, the more worrying it is. So if your sensitivity comes to 1%, you're saying oh, costs or sales only have to change by 1%, and then the MPV will equal zero. That's more worrying than saying costs could change by 400% and, and, until I'm worried. So it's the smaller percentage is the more worrying. Right. It's a little bit trickier than that. So let's have a look at this MPV. So I've got sales in year one and two of 10,000, uh, 10, costs of 1,000, and the investment is 10,000. So there's my cash flows, okay? So now I'm going to calculate my MPV. And to do that, I need to work out the present value of the cash flows using a discount rate that they'll give me of 10%. Right, let me show you how you do this on a spreadsheet. Okay, so to calculate MPV on a spreadsheet, you do MPV formula, open your bracket, put your rates in, in this case 10%, and then say, what do you want 10% on? Well, I want 10% on year, everything apart from year zero. So year one and year two, close my brackets. Everything apart from year zero. And the reason why it's everything apart from year zero is because then you say, right, I know the present value of my future years now at base at 10%. Now I'm going to take off the initial investment. And by taking off the initial investment, that gets me to my MPV of 5620. Okay, so I now know that my MPV is 5620. But I said... Sensitivity analysis is a little bit trickier than I let on. We said it was MPV divided by the, the item, but it's actually the present value of the item. So going back to this case here, let's say I want to do this, then my MPV is 5620, but then I need to do the present value of the item, agreed? So the present value of costs would be 1736. Let me show you how I calculated that 1736. 
I simply pressed equals, MPV, okay, open your brackets, put the rate in 10%, comma, on what things do you want, all my costs please, that one and that one, close my bracket and I get the 1736. Once I've got that, I can now work out my sensitivity. So sensitivity, net present value, divided by present value of the item, 1736. Actually, costs would have to change by a whopping 324% before MPV equals zero. So not very sensitive at all. I'm not really worried. Surely my guess isn't 324% out. So that's the cost up. Now I'm going to try and work out present value, uh, the, sorry, the, the sensitivity of the selling price, which as you can see there is 17,355. How would you calculate the sensitivity, the present value of the selling price here? Well, this is how you would do it. You'd press equals, MPV, open the bracket, put in your percentage, your rates, comma, and then you say, look, can you do the sensitivity, it's not sensitivity, sorry, can you do the present value of that and that, please, at 10%? Close your brackets and it says, yes, the present value of those two at 10% is 7355. So once we know that, we can fill in our formula, the sensitivity then, the net present value is 5620, the sensitivity of sales, of selling price, the, the present value, sorry, was 17,355. So the sensitivity of the selling price is one divided by the other. Selling price has to change by 32% before I change my mind. Okay, so therefore it's more sensitive than the costs were. So to sum up then, sensitivity is net present value divided by present value of your item. Some limitations. I was only doing one item at a time. So I was looking at, well, if the selling price changes, this happens, 32% change in selling price. But surely if your selling price changed, then your, your demand would change. Or would it? Depends how depends how elastic the demand is. But you can only do one item at a time. Do I have control over the selling price? Surely that depends on whether competitors, uh, how they react. What's the probability of my costs changing? Or, you know, so it doesn't tell you any of these. And therefore, in more complex scenarios, sensitivity is not that good. You'd, you'd want to use something like simulation.